Let's continue with the desert island. I know I do the same path every time, but like, it's the easy path. So sue me. Defend the Earth Mover. Oh, that's a tough mission. Kill seven enemies is also tough, but defend the Earth Mover is really tough. I always find it hard to keep this thing alive, but you know, it, it gives us a robotics lab. <sighs> Ad Comper says plus three grid defense. Yeah, that'd be great if instead of getting plus two HP, we get plus three grid defense on a pilot we can't replace. That'll be the day. Although I wonder if, if you get a bad skill, if you die, will it overwrite the bad skill with a better skill if you level up? That's what I'm curious about. Like, can you can you self-select skills by killing your own pilot? That'd be weird. Kill enemies to protect the coal plant. You know, I, I think I'm gonna go here first. Easier mission, maybe we'll get a, a pod. And maybe the pod will give us a little bit of health, not health, help in the future. So let's see what we can do here. Thank you, thank you. I need that, I need that a lot. So unfortunately, um, yeah, the enemies have positioned themselves where we can't really easily uh, get the alpha firefly to kill themselves, to kill, kill each other, but we can still push them, push this firefly into the pit and you'll block a spawn. So I still think this is pretty good. We have to kill enemies, not block spawns, which admittedly might change my my course of action here. Because if we do it like this, we can take one damage and get lots of kills. We have to get like two kills per turn. So if, if we get a kill here, smack you, and then push you over, that's pretty good. So we'll start here. One, two, three movement. Not good enough. Yeah, I don't want to block the spawn. I like that. Kill you. Split the diff here. Let's keep you moved back slightly. You'll block a spawn and take one damage, but I can't really kill you anyway. So we'll have two units next turn. Um, if we kill them both, we're, you know, killing two units per turn like we said we needed to do. A strange mad welcome. How's it going? Good to see you again. Welcome to the stream. Um, you can block a spawn again, I suppose, or you could kill the soldier scion, which seems better. Although, we're slowing down in our, our killing, aren't we? I'll do two damage. Hmm. I mean, if I smack you, do one. Can't hit you again. So, I mean, I guess we could kill the Scion immediately and then, but it's not like, it's not like we can hit the Firefly at all with the Scarab, so they're just gonna, Stay there. Although, I, you know what? If I keep them pushed back, they're always gonna be firing in this direction, so they're always gonna be able to get a kill. So maybe we just accept that this Firefly is gonna be living for a long time, but it's always gonna be shooting down here trying to hit me, and I can use that to my advantage by making it hit, hit its allies. So like, what if we let three enemies spawn here, And then we use it to help kill its friends because they're all locked in, they're tight. Yeah, and you do three damage. This seems like it could work. Or it's just not gonna attack, which kind of, 
puts a bit of a hamper on my my stratagems. Yeah, now you're all attacking down here, which seems pretty bad for me. All right, um, hate you all. <laughs> Frick. This went very poor, very quick. Um, I, I, oh my god, I hate it. I didn't think about the fact that there would be a line of bodies. Ah, okay. Well, if I attack you, you will be in smoke. But I, I, I can literally cannot stop you from hitting a building. So I hate to say it, but I think we just have to accept that we are going to lose that building. I can at least kill this unit. In fact, I could just smoke it now, which might be for the best. Man, this blows. <laughs> what a what a horrible decision I made. Because the two hornets that spawn went right behind my lines, and I can't really deal with them. I can stop them both from hurting buildings. Hit there, smoke here, and then hit you once. We only kill one thing and next turn is gonna blow, but at least it does keep everything alive. We have to kill so many things next turn, it's absurd. But this saves power for now. We're very far out of position too. I really do need the Firefly to try to hit me so I can get out of the way and get some of their friends killed. We have to do friendly fire damage on this turn. Oh, or he can hit the building now that the mountain is freed. I am dumb, I am stupid, I am bad at this game. Yep, there you go. And you've locked me in place so I can't free the free him. Oh goody, you are you too. Nice to see you, nice to see you. Hit him, kill him, push him out of the way. We can actually save all the buildings, but we won't kill enough enemies because we're only gonna kill one enemy on this turn. I, I'm okay getting not a perfect island. I'm just annoyed, <laughs> I'm just annoyed <laughs> that every decision I made ended up being poor. And I, if I just thought about it a little bit longer, maybe we'd, we would have been not in this situation at all. But we can still do it taking no power. So, kill you. We lose the perfect island, but everything else is fine. We need this reactor power. We need to power up early. And it's already feeling too late. All right. I'll find someone who can. God, I hate you, Jessica Kern. Okay, Lily Reed. Oh, hey, pilot. Unfortunately, can't really use that. So let's see. Smoke behind or plus move. I'd wanna get plus damage soon. So let's get, give you plus move. Although the, the smoke behind is also good because maybe we can deal with two enemies in a single turn by just smoking it. We'll try smoke behind and um, we'll do a defend the terraformer mission. This should be not that bad. Yeah, defend the terraformer former missions are usually not horrible. And that's not too bad. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So we'll make sure you go. You're just gonna have to get smacked. We'll smoke ourselves, but we're gonna leave the smoke anyways. You gotta get smacked. 
can't move where I want to go. So yeah, we'll just do it like this. And um, I guess we can kill this Hornet, so we might as well. Get some more experience. In theory, if we let a, let a, lot, of, let a lot of units spawn, we can get a lot of experience on our units. Just please don't be plus two mech HP. For once. Okay, you're you're pretty awful. You're probably gonna get eliminated. Actually, you know what? Now we have to eliminate in a different direction. Why why was this square here? There was no time pod. Secret time pod? Secret time pod in a mountain? No? Well, I don't know, let me let me look at the sand tiles. Maybe there's secret secret time pods and sand tiles or something? I don't know. Just a ground tile here, not even grass. Hmm. Anyways, um We'll probably block a spawn and shoot down. Or we could block this spawn and smack you, although you won't die, but you we could put you in smoke easily enough. You I suppose I'll light you on fire, then hit you and you'll die. So we'll save everything. Just make sure that we can attack in a downward direction like we need to. Leveled up, plus one mech move, beautiful. We're doing it, we're doing it! There was a glitch on the Switch version of this game that allowed you to swap pilots into the secret squad mechs. That sounds sweet. <laughs> Where can I get some of that? It'd be cool if you could gain experience twice too. That'd be something. Pair. Let's just um, let's just create some smoke. Ah, I don't really care about creating smoke. You can just hang back. I kind of like where you are. End turn. Just want to make sure I'm doing things right. Strange Med says, get a Switch, then play Metroid Dread while you're at it. Someone's gonna buy me a Switch, I hear. Fantastic, thank you. You got rid of the smoke and the fire, interesting. Um, well... We don't really care about any particular unit getting the experience, so... To smack him around. Spread out the experience, that's fine. End mission. We completed the objectives. Remember, we're not on Perfect Island anymore, but it is still nice to get the uh, corporate rep when possible. We have zero. <laughs> Second mission. Still on zero. No, we got some. I really want the robotics lab. But we're also probably gonna do this one because it doesn't look that hard. Seismic activity, there's gonna be um, Which one is this? Is this Cataclysm? No, this is uh, a line of tiles that will be uh, enabling dunking protocols. But let's try the turbine sinks. Let's give it a go. Do something like this? Question mark. This seems okay. If I'm lucky, I can get the enemies to attack me over here, and then I can I can go around them, avoid their shots. Now you're just gonna hit a building. But at least you are easy to dunk. You're you're very dunkable, and you are very easy to deal with too. I can just kind of get out of your way. 
Okay. So, thank God you positioned yourself appropriately. I could hurt you, but for what point? I guess if I hurt you, I can then smack you up. You have a lot of a lot of health, don't you? Oh my lord. I suppose this is still the best move for you. And then we'll push you up one. Ah, but if I push you up here, you're gonna hit a building. One, one, two, three. I can't push you where I need you to go. You know what, pushing you up one stops you from hitting the Earth Mover. I don't need to hit you any more than that. So what I can do is I can just hit this Firefly and do some extra damage. This seems pretty good. Two damage to this Firefly gets him killed, you know, somewhat soon. Yeah, I mean... I don't see why not. So we're gonna start here. You gotta go. Saves the building. We're gonna take one damage. But that's not too bad. There's gonna be four. Oh, you know, actually, if we reset turn, we can move back two and do the same thing. I'd rather not go down to one HP. But is this really that bad? As long, uh, as long as we never get hit again. No, we gotta, we gotta reset turn. I don't wanna get hit for three. I didn't think about him attacking my, my mech, obviously. But this still works. We'll take one damage. We have a limited ra uh, range for the next turn because we had to move out of the way, but otherwise we're good. We can push you down, and then you'll block this shot too. You I can just hit to get out of the way of. You, if I hit you, you will create smoke, but that actually doesn't create smoke right there. So that'll, that'll save your life. That'll smoke. That'll smoke, and then the Leaper will kill the Soldier Scion. Hold up. We'll lose one building power, but it makes this turn very easy. Let's not forget, too, that we can, um, we can always smoke if we have to. So what's the other option? Hit you for two. can't push you down. That's the problem. I can hit you, but I can't hit you down. In that case, I can hit you down if I free the Hornet. Free the Hornet, hit you down, you're attacking nothing, I can easily attack this this tile in order to. Um, well, that uh, that's the first action. Hit the tile to smoke you. You're gonna move down. You're not gonna do anything. If I position myself here, we can actually kill this firefly immediately. But I can also kill it by just attacking it, and then I don't take the the bump damage. So attack here. Boom, smoke. Leaper moves, attacks, kills a scion. Firefly dies in one shot. Hornet moves back, hits crab down, attacks nothing. Does two damage. You're in smoke. You're hitting him. You're killed. You're gonna die, but you are gonna hurt me once. Uh, not if I move out of the way. We have to not bump you, I think. Because we can just move, move up here and hit this guy. No, we, we have to hit you once to still kill you. 
Okay, okay. Which means you'll get the experience. This is still, I think, the best move. Now you're dead. Now you're not hitting anything. And then we can either get both fireflies to one HP or kill a firefly. I'd rather just kill a firefly. Now next turn, there's going to be four units. But so far this has gone well. We have no reset either, so we have to be very careful about our decisions. Definitely not Brazilian. Welcome and good night, <laughs> I suppose. Have a good night. Thanks for being here. You're not hitting me, which is beautiful. You're not really hitting anything, which is fine. You're hitting a building, which is... I love it when they're not hitting me in this situation, although we do have to find some way of getting a two-for-one action. Which I can't really do, at least not there. Although if I move here, I can push you down and you up, but that doesn't really solve the immediate problem. You I can just kill immediately. You also only do one damage. Um, well, you know, I don't know, because it'll hit a building. But pushing, um, pushing the leaper over one means that it will easily kill the firefly. And then we can push you off to the side so that you don't hit buildings. And then you can just murder this guy. That saves everything. And there's going to be three four units next turn, but everything on our end is still living. Now there's a different way of doing this. We can just kill the Leaper directly. One, two, three, push you over to the side. Versus stepping all the way back here where it's hard for us to, to move and then like hurting our own, you know, earth mover building. Let's not do that. Is good night not usually said as a greeting in English? Nope. <laughs> That's said as a goodbye. So long. See you later. Sleep with the fishes. You know, the Mad Gomper's right. Good evening. Good good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Those are like greetings. Good night. That's a so long see you later. Why is that? Why is that a, a thing in English? When you spell it out like that, it makes no sense. <laughs> Der Nunu, welcome. Hello, hello. Okay, we gotta we gotta like actually make a decision here. <sighs> We can do an additional point of damage, which is nice. So we're gonna do an additional point of damage to the Leaper. This will not create smoke. Certainly hope not. Then we will get you out of the way. Smack you. You can use any of them in both cases, says definitely not Brazilian. Hmm. Dernuna says, is Abe playing the monsters? I am the bad guys. <laughs> Apparently. Yes, indeedy. Indeedy, indeedy, doobly, How much damage do you do? One? Oh, we're gonna make it out of this mission. We're gonna be fine. I'm very happy for that. We are gonna take a little bit of damage, but we are gonna make it out of the mission a-okay. Put you in smoke. Remember, we have no turn reset. Kill you, you'll hit us for one, but we'll live, and then you just need to somehow kill this guy. You know what? You can hit this guy in smoke. And then you can come over here and wreck him. We'll take one damage, who cares? Yeah, I think I almost cost myself some damage because I wouldn't have been able to do the right necessary moves. Actually, we could do it like this. 
Although it will hurt us. Unless we do this first. Because we can shoot through ourselves, technically. No, we can't because it won't put him in smoke. Okay, start here. We live. Murder this guy. Put you in smoke. Completed the objective. We will get another reactor core. I don't know what we're gonna do with it, but we get it. Corbano, Corbonzo beans, welcome to the stream. Did you miss Gungeon? Yep, you missed Gungeon four hours ago. Five hours ago. Sorry. Gungeon's my warm up. Now we're playing into the breach and I'm having a lovely time with it. All these missions are getting kind of tough. Smoke behind, damage, range. Let's start working towards that plus three damage by giving you plus one move. Then we'll go... I really don't want to defend Renfield Bombs because I think it's really hard. Especially having no, like, pits, I think is hard. Let's just do seismic activity. This is gonna be a lot easier, and we will overcharge our reactor, which is fine. It's fine. Probably move like... Well, I would love it if you attacked my beetle, so we'll try it like this. And maybe this crab will attack both of my units so that, that we're not take, technically taking any damage. Nope, you're going for a building. Well, you're annoying. Let's see. Shoot it back, which doesn't really make that much sense. Could shoot you back. That'll prevent you from hitting anything. So we have an option there. No, yeah, I think I think we want to make sure that the Firefly shoots the crab. I think there's no other way of really preventing all the damage we're gonna take. So, we'll have to push you over. We can then... We can then give you a long range smack. Push you down, you'll die. Ah, but if I let you live, you'll block the spawn. That's way better. So what we're gonna do... Is the Hornet just not gonna do anything on this turn? That seems... that seems wrong. We should... I mean, we can just push you and kill you. And then what do you do? Hit this guy, do some damage. Beautiful. Yeah, we should probably just kill you and then let whatever spawn spawn and then kill it. Get some experience out of this. Sure. Sure. Smack ya. Smack ya. Forgot about the smoke. But then we can come down here and do some damage to this guy. Get him closer to death. Attack order doesn't matter because the crab isn't even hitting anything. Although I really don't want, you know, him to break mountains and make a spot for hornets. So there's only a leaper, that's easy. You're easy to kill because you can get pushed into a pit. Kind of easy to kill, because I can just hit you with the scarab, I suppose. Yeah. I suppose we should um, kill the leaper first so he doesn't get away. Although doing it like this would cost me one HP, because I would have to shoot myself. Maybe we'd be better off like preventing one spawn. But there's only gonna be three enemies next turn. Maybe I'm okay. Ah, right, I can't do that. All right, let's just, um, let's just block the spawn. We'll let this, um, this doofus live for another turn. Or we could reset turn and then kill him. <sighs> I always hate doing it, but I'll reset turn. I, I have to, I have to plan out my turns. I have to plan out my turns a little bit more, I think.
I still have to do it in a very specific order though, but we'll start here, then we'll attack. It'll hurt us one, smack you, move you up, three units next turn, that's fine. Bye. 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 And hopefully you guys just don't move. Ah, uh, they're kind of moving a lot. One, two, three. Can't quite push you both. Well, I actually kind of can. Well, I can't push you. This is still okay, because that's an easy kill. I mean, that's just an easy kill as is, and then I can push you into the pit and kill you. Maybe this is easier than I thought it was gonna be. I do need to push you one tile away, though. So you don't hit freaking buildings. So we'll start here. Get a kill, cost us one HP. Ah, no, don't do that, you'll die. Don't kill your own units. <laughs> Stop doing that. We'll do it like this. And then you can kill him. Stop getting your own units killed, Abe. <laughs> At least these are, um, you know, AI pilots, but still. Corbanzo Bean says that Lovey Man have a good night. Now, is that actually a good night, or you 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 trying to bait me like? Definitely not Brazilian did five minutes ago. Because if it's a, a real good night, then have a good night. <laughs> Alright, I like this. Let's think about this. Push you into the pit. Push you into the pit. One, two, three push you away from the building. Good stuff. Why was that fir first mission so hard? Was that the train one that we did here? Is that why we lost Perfect Island on this one because of the train? Because these missions, like, subsequent missions had been pretty easy. No, that wasn't the train one. Which one was this one then? Oh, kill seven enemies. We couldn't kill the seven enemies. I gotcha. That makes sense. All right, let's kill the scorpion leader. I like what we have. We have a very good push ability, so this shouldn't be that hard. Hopefully, we can get the scorpion to attack his friends. Right now, one, two, three. One, two, three. The scorpion cannot attack a thing unless we make it so that he can attack us. For instance, if we position ourselves here, the scorpion will, uh, I guess he, he could hit the building. So he's either gonna go for the building or for us here, and then the firefly is gonna do what he doesn't do. Firefly is either gonna hit this building, because it can only move two. So it's gonna shoot down, or it's going to shoot up, and then we'll have to deal with the scorpion later. So I think we want the beetle to be there. I think we want the hornet to be here, and I think we want the crab to be here. Scorpion leader, if he attacks the building, we smack him down. If he attacks us, we smack him down. Firefly might be able to get him to hit the scorpion leader or get killed by the scorpion leader, one or the other. So this seems fine. The scion is probably gonna live. Definitely not Brazilian. Brazilian says I died to the flagship. Are you playing FTL? Good choice. Fantastic choice. Okay, so if we push you, you will push the Firefly, who's gonna hit a building. But we can make the Firefly kill the Scion by pushing the Scion as well. So this is a, a weird turn. Where... I guess we could just go over here and kill the Scion ourselves. But, what's the fun in that? We definitely want the leader to hit the Firefly. I don't, we can't make the Firefly hit the, sorry, we can't make the Firefly hit the leader because we can't hit the building because it'll cost us building power.
You know what we could do? Uh, that'll create smoke so the Firefly will stop attacking when it gets pushed by the Scorpion. So that doesn't seem that good, does it? What's your movement? Four? One, two, three... Four? Nah, we don't want to do that. We want the beetle to be the one that attacks, because we want the hornet to be able to move back here. And then I suppose we could do one point of damage to both of these guys by smacking them into each other with the scarab, so... Yeah, that doesn't seem that bad. And then here, let's just, um... Does one damage to each. This also does one damage to each. So, we'll just, um... Let's do it here. It doesn't matter if there's smoke here, I don't think. Bum, 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 bum. As it turns out, not being able to do damage to the flagship if they have shields is problematic. Hmm. Don't just say... <laughs> yeah, that would probably be a bit of a problem. Cat. Can't free you, unless we use the Hornet. We could use the Hornet, smack you. You will kill the Firefly, who won't kill the Crab. Or I could just hit you for two and smoke you, but... Uh, well, what if I hit you for two and smoke you? I guess we could do this, but then we won't hit you for two and smoke you. We can push the Firefly down, so it will kill the crab before it attacks, and it'll block a spawn. That seems so good. And I think we want to be positioned here. And then I just want to block a spawn here. Repair. And turn. This is looking like a good mission, but we still have to kill that scorpion. He's one hit away from dying, though, if we smack him into a wall. Or if we could just use the hornet. He, well, here's the thing. If we... Oh, if we hit the hornet, he's dead, so we can't use him to kill the, the leaper. Not Brazilian says I had two halberd beans. <laughs> Unless you have hacking and a way of getting through the defense drone on the second phase of the Rebel flagship. Yeah, two halberd beams is not enough. I could use two actions to kill you, but we'll lose a building. How do we do this without losing a building? That'll do it. And then... Hitting you will do it. And then... Hitting you once... Freeze us. And then next turn, we have four enemies, one of which is a leader. I think it's... I think it's good. It'll be a little tough, but nothing says we can't do it. You're gonna break some mountains. Leaper is the big wild card. He, could, he can do pretty much anything. He went for an easy building, which is very nice, because it means that I think we'll be okay. Hit him, he's dead. You just move out of the way. Got the experience. You, um, I guess we'll get a kill. No reason not to. End turn. Other than not getting Perfect Island, this was fine. Island, Isle, Island. Other than not getting perfect Island, we did a good job. We got enough, you know, the freaking corporate rep that I'm pretty happy about this. Drop smoke. Plus one move, they start next to each other, but it costs, everything here costs reactor to, to utilize. Heals all player units, including disabled mechs, for once per battle. If we lose a unit, I wonder if we'll still lose the, um, the experience. 
that the unit grants us. Let's see, we got two power. What do we need? Three damage base seems pretty good. But I'll be honest with you. If we get one more reactor power, we can get three damage base on two units, which seems even better. I think. Let's see. Let's get rid of um, push tank. And let's see, does this do three damage to two units? Yeah, I think this is what we have to get. The ability to do so much damage, I think is king. And we actually still have one reactor power that we can put back into move. So we have one, one damage, two damage, three damage, base, and then an ice generator, <laughs> which we might be able to use in the future. It'll just take a while to get there. I think that's pretty good. Let's leave Island.